Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Do you do a lot of importing of text files or you copy and paste stuff from emails or Word documents or whatever, and you got a lot of extra spaces, tabs, line breaks, all that stuff in your text? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean it all up. Today's question comes from Lila in Cerritos, California, one of my Platinum members. Lila says, I have a lot of text fields in my Access database where I copy stuff from Word documents and emails, and the text is always messy. People type two spaces after periods, use a bunch of spaces instead of tabs, and sometimes there are way too many line breaks between paragraphs. Is there an easy way to clean all this up in Access so it looks better and is easier to read? Yes, for years and years and years, they taught people in typing class to put two spaces after a period, and that's no longer the case, but a lot of the times even I run across documents that are like that and you wanna convert it easily. So let's see how we can do that with just a single click of a button. Before we get into it, however, this is a developer level class. What does that mean? Well, if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. We're going to use a while loop. So go make sure that you understand how to use while loops. Watch this video. Go watch my string functions video. We're going to use the in string to determine if a string exists inside another string. And we're gonna use the replace function. If that string does exist, we're gonna replace it with something else. So go watch all these videos first. They're all free, they're on my website, they're on my YouTube channel. They're all free. Go watch them and then come on back. Go on, get out of here, go. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help Free template. This is a free database you can download off my website if you want to. And in here, I've got a customer form and I got a big notes field with a bunch of stuff in it. For the purposes of class, I'm gonna come in here. Let's move these buttons out of the way. I'm gonna delete these fields here. We don't need them. And let's make this nice and big like that so we can see everything that's in there. Okay. All right, save it, close it, open it back up again. Looks good. And I'm gonna go in fact over to James Kirk because James Kirk's got a lot more stuff in here. Now I went over to Word and I changed some things. I added uh, some indenting here with some tabs. I added a bunch of extra lines between these paragraphs. I added two spaces after all of the paragraphs. I just did a basic find and replace in Word. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna drop it right in here. We're gonna get rid of all this text out of here. So control end, control shift home, delete. That's how you delete all the text in there easily. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a lot to remember. And then we'll paste that in, all right. So now I got this. Now notice the tabs actually didn't come in right. So that's fine, that's not a big deal. But sometimes you will get tabs that come through. But these didn't come through, but that's okay. We've got our two spaces problem to fix here. We've got extra lines in here. So let's adjust these. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy one of these buttons, copy paste. Let's move it over here. And we'll just call this guy fix it, all right? And I'm gonna change the name of this button so Alex doesn't yell at me. This is the fix it button, BTN. All right. Now the name of this field is notes. So I'm gonna right click build event. VB editor pops up. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna say, while there are two spaces inside the notes field, I wanna replace two spaces with one space, right? So if, if you get a situation where you got, let me show you. You get a situation where you've got, uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna delete me since we're working with Jim. I don't have to keep going back. Okay, there we go. You got a situation in here where there's like eight spaces in a row, right? You wanna first remove all of the two spaces. Okay, now there's six there. And that's why you have a while loop. Now remove six, now remove four. Now remove, now there's two, now it's gonna come down to one. See what I'm talking about? So we're just gonna loop until it doesn't find two spaces in a row anywhere in this document. All right, that's why we're using a while loop. So we're gonna say while in string notes, quote, space, space, quote, right? Look for two spaces. Now, in string will return a zero if it doesn't find it. So while this is not zero, greater than and less than zero, not zero, then notes equals replace notes, comma, what are we replacing? Two spaces with one space. See, and then when. And I like to throw a little beep at the end there. Beep, so you know you're done, right? Even though this should just take a, a millisecond. All right, save it, debug, compile once in a while. Come back out here and hit the button. 
Boop. And look at that. Okay. All the, all the instances where it found two spaces have been fixed throughout the whole thing. Beautiful. We're done, right? Well, not quite. How about those extra line breaks right here, right? So this is where the users hit enter one, two, three times. Now, I like it to look like that. So I want two line breaks there. They're called new line characters or VBC, RLF, whichever one you prefer. They're the same for access, right? So I want the same, same thing. I want to find any instance where there's three line breaks and change it to two line breaks, right? Because this would normally be enter, enter. I want it two line breaks there, but it came in with three, right? So any place you find three, we're going to change it to two, just like if they hit it enter five times, right? It's going to change five down to that, down to that, down to that, and then it's going to stop. Okay, so again, back out here, let's, let's move off of that and back on it so it saves it, so it refreshes it. In fact, that's not a bad idea to put that in here, right? Me.refresh, so it saves the data to the table before it starts messing with stuff. All right, we're gonna do another loop just like this one. We're gonna, in fact, we're gonna copy this loop. And let's put some comments in here, right? Replace two spaces. And next, we're gonna replace two, actually, we're gonna replace uh, extra line breaks. Okay, paste that in there. Now, what are we doing? We're replacing three instances of a line break, which is VB new line with two of them. So this is gonna look like this. While in string notes, VB new line and VB new line and VB new line, right? If, it's, if you see three of them in a row, we're gonna replace those three with just two of them. So we'll get rid of that extra one. Okay, I'm also going to put in here, I'm going to put in here, you can, or you can also use VBCRLF. Some documents, if you import them, you might get a VBCRLF, which in access is almost nearly identical to a VB new line. I've never had a problem where it doesn't read. No, I shouldn't say never, maybe 1% of the time, <laughs> but I almost always use VB new line. All right, ready? All right, save it, debug compile, come out here and fix it. And look at that. There we go. Get rid of all those extra line breaks. Okay. Two more things I like to do real quick. I like to trim it. So, uh, so notes equals trim notes. That'll just remove any leading or trailing spaces. And then we're going to remove tabs. If you if you do get tab characters and sometimes if you copy and paste data or if you import it, you'll get tab characters in there. So we'll just do uh, notes equals replace notes. VB tab is the constant you want and we'll just replace it with a space. And that way, if they go tab, 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 those will be, it'll become space, 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 space. And then down here, it'll get replaced. And it'll just be one space. Okay? Okay. Save it. Debug compile. Come back out here. Hit the button again. All right, let's put, let's put a problem in here. We'll just do this. And we'll just do this. And I'll hit the button. And it's fixed. Okay? There you go. This is the kind of stuff, see, I used to do this all the time, and this is the kind of stuff where you have to go through here every time you have to import something and fix it here, fix it there, fix it here. It may only take you 30 seconds, but if you have to do this 10 times a day, every day, that button that just took you two minutes to write is going to save you hours over the course of a year. This is the kind of stuff that Access is fantastic for, for automating stuff like this. This is why you want to learn VB. All right, now, coming up in the extended cut, what we just did was only half actually less than half of what Lila wanted to do with her database. Not only does she have to copy and paste stuff from emails and whatever that people send her, but sometimes she gets sent a whole bunch of text files, right? Sometimes a zip file with like 20 text files in it. So for the extended cut, what we're going to do is we're going to make a function out of this, what we just did. So we can call it from anywhere in the database, right? Call it from a contact form, call it from the customer form, whatever. Fix any field you want. Then we're going to loop through all of the text files in a particular folder. So if like Lally gets a zip file with 15, 20 text files in it, just unzip them, they're all in your folder now. We're gonna write a routine that's gonna loop through all of the files, import each one of them into the database. We're gonna read the text files in, okay? As it reads each one in, it's gonna fix it with our fix it function that we just wrote, save it to a contact, and then delete those files by sending them to the recycle bin. All right, so that's, that's a lot of stuff. It's about a half an hour long. It's all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, not just this one, all of them. There's lots of them, hundreds of them. 
Gold members, of course, can download these databases and you get access to the code vault where all this source code is saved and all kinds of stuff. And everybody gets free training. So check it out. That's in the extended cut for the members. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Sammy Shama with Shama Consultancy, a certified Microsoft Access expert who offers personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And Amanda Nicole Consulting, specializing in helping businesses move from complex Excel sheets to an Access database. You'll find links to the Diamond Sponsors in the description down below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing free four hours go watch it and okay okay a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course so i do now have a quicker microsoft access for beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes and no i didn't just put the video on fast forward <laughs> but i'll put a link to this down below as well now if you like level one level two is just a dollar that's it one dollar and that's another whole like 90 minute course Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. 
Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.